Hey, I'm Bryson with Trick Tools. And this tool sitting in front of me is the Eckold HZ52 hand pliers. These are handheld shrinker stretcher machines that uh, do a pretty good job uh, when you're working on an application where maybe you either uh, are on a job site, you can't take your shrinker stretcher with you, uh, or maybe you're trying to do something uh, on a part that you can't pick up to put in a shrinker stretcher. So, um, you know, this machine is pretty unique in that way. It's fairly lightweight and extremely strong to be able to uh, do your shrink and stretching tasks um, fairly easily. So uh, with this machine, it will accept the standard shrinking and stretching tooling from Eckold, as well as the non-marring tooling. Uh, and then you can also put the clinching tooling in here as well uh, to be able to give you those clinching capabilities. So. So the hand pliers are a great addition if you already have an existing Eckold machine in your shop. Uh, they accept the same tooling as the smaller Eckold machines, so uh, the sh even the non-marring and the, the regular dies, uh, it's the same ones that you would put in the HF100 or the KF170. Uh, and you can basically, if you have one of those machines, you can take the uh, adapters for the tooling off of uh, the ones you need for the machines and bolt them right into the hand pliers uh, using the screw up here at the top. So. Uh, it comes with a shed, uh, set of shims here, uh, and basically what these shims do, if you're going to operate the pliers, uh, say you have a part you need to, to work on, what you want to do is slide the pliers onto your part, uh, apply some pressure down uh, so you can see the teeth pattern that the jaws are going to leave on your material. So right here we don't have hardly any uh, teeth marks on here which tells me I need to add a shim to one die in order to apply more pressure to the part. So um, it's pretty simple to do. These shims come in one millimeter, uh, 1.5 millimeter, and two millimeter. So it's all going to be based on what material thickness you're working with. Uh, we're working here with 18 gauge steel uh, and this had no shims in it so I, there was no hardly any pressure being applied uh, to the material. So slide that out. We're gonna go ahead and grab the 1.5 millimeter shim. And so there's a little, there's a second hole on the shim here. And there's also a second hole on the die. There's a pin inside of the plier head that lines up your tooling and keeps it from rotating in the wrong direction. So you can slide the shim and the tooling on there on that pin. And then you just gotta, well, there we go dropping hardware but uh you just got to slide the bolt back in the hole and rotate these to where the, get them in your threads there and then spin that in there so uh got that tight so now you can walk back over here and you can feel the difference in the tool when you push down and you can still see uh, some teeth marks there. Uh, they're a little bit more noticeable than we had before. So um, I think they're probably still a little bit on the light side. So I'd, I'd like to see a little more pressure in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and put that two millimeter shim in here just to make sure we can move the amount of material we want to. So, uh, and because obviously this, these pliers are manual in operation, uh, the, you know, if you've got a little bit thicker shim in there, obviously you don't have to apply full pressure. If you're getting the shrinking you want, uh, you can manually back that off. So, um, we'll add this two millimeter shim in here, bolt this back together. test it out again here. You can definitely feel a lot more pressure there uh, and you can actually see a little bit more of a wrinkle uh, right there where the jaws are squeezing together. So um, we'll go ahead and give a little more action to this piece here. And these are a great addition, like I said, to your existing Eckold machines. Uh, gives you some extra capabilities with the tooling that you've invested in. And 
and you can see it's already uh, pulling this flange around. So and if you did wanted you know a little more pressure even uh, you can add more shims in there as well so um, but we just wanted to show the operation on these so so for more information on the Eckold hand pliers visit our website give us a call we can answer any questions you might have and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on high performance tools for the fabricator.